We've been talking uh, at some length about uh, how the new national security cutter really provides the Coast Guard with a lot more flexibility. Uh, an example of this would be if the uh, national security cutter had been available during Katrina, how it could have functioned to kind of manage the situation much more effectively. Could you give us a sense of that? The, uh, this, this class of vessel, of course, uh, has the ability to be uh, I mean, we can be 1,500 miles from where we are in, in a matter of, of two days. Uh, when we arrive, uh, we have the ability to, to talk to anyone, anywhere in the world. Uh, we have the ability to organize a lot of different agencies because of the ability to communicate. We have the ability to uh, put people actually on scene with, uh, with boats and aircraft have the ability to, to remain on station for up to 90 days. We make our own water, uh, make our own electricity. We're, we're essentially a, a small city uh, and a small command and control, uh, kind of a, uh, a, a, mobile, a mobile command and control platform. The uh, second uh, point I'd just like to make is that uh, we're facing a lot of challenges that many of them are unknown, a lot of chaos that we're dealing with. An asset like this really allows the Coast Guard to to function in a, in a uh, kind of a maritime management role for, for dealing with various future crises. Could you talk to that uh, point a little bit? Yeah, I think what you're getting to is the, is the conversation we had earlier about the idea that uh, we need to look forward in, in the kinds of threats that we might, uh, we might encounter. And we, we, it's hard to see into the crystal ball to figure out exactly what those might look like, but this ship has got a lot of capability built in it. The first thing that you run into in a ship at sea is, is your people wear out. So, so things like having a dedicated ballasting system that allows me to ballast the ship down as I use up fuel, gives the ship a more stable ride, less fatigue on the people. The fact that the, the places where the people live um, are far more comfortable uh, surroundings for them uh, allows them after after three weeks, not to be tired of their forty their forty roommates because they're in state rooms with with maybe four or five four or five roommates. Um, from an operational perspective, uh, those same kind of things apply to, for example, our ability to launch and recover aircraft, the ability to keep the ship more stable, to have a configuration on the flight deck that makes it easier for pilots to to land in and to launch, to have enough fuel uh, to be underway with uh, any variety of aircraft for 60 or 90 days without having to manage the amount of aviation fuel that we have because we have enough on board gives us a tremendous amount of flexibility in the future for threats that we can't even imagine right now.